Yeah. What's up, guys? This is Webby, and this is your SmackDown Live review for October 18th, 2016. And after watching SmackDown tonight, SmackDown tonight sucked. And I have been one to praise SmackDown. Really praise SmackDown. However, the main event of SmackDown tonight dragged. It was boring. James Ellsworth has no business beating AJ Styles two weeks in a row. It was amusing at first last week. It was amusing. This week, no business. This is just going to keep dragging on. Dragging on. You know what this is? And if anybody begs to differ, then there's something wrong with you. This is the fact that SmackDown is creeping up in the ratings. They're creeping up in the ratings against Monday Night Raw. So what are we going to do? We're going to stick this jobber. We're going to stick this jobber in the main event. We're going to stick him in the main event. We're going to pull some crap that Monday Night Raw does every single week. Monday Night Raw fills us with jobbers. And useless matches. Now, yes, this was built up with a storyline, but this was a jobber. I don't care how many people stood up and yelled, Ellsworth, Ellsworth, Ellsworth. I don't care how many people did that. This was. WWE trying to make SmackDown look like Raw. Because AJ Styles faced a jobber in the main event. And the sad thing was, the jobber won the matchup. Therefore, the jobber, James Ellsworth, will probably be on SmackDown next week. Let me give you a hand. And it's probably all because SmackDown's creeping up in the ratings. So let's make SmackDown more like Raw. Because SmackDown can't be better. It has to be like Raw. It has to follow in Raw's footsteps. That's what this is showing. Somebody beg the difference. I'm begging somebody who's watching this right now to beg the differ with me. Sure, it might be a little entertaining. Sure, James Ellsworth might be a little entertaining. But that's what's going on. Honestly, I don't find any of it entertaining. AJ Styles has no business losing to James Ellsworth. And honestly, they could be building on to more feuds. Making more feuds feel important. Trying to make this Dean Ambrose versus AJ Styles feud feel more important. They could be doing that. But are they? No! Ignorant. That is what this main event was tonight. Ignorant. Randy Orton gives credit where credit is due to Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt adds some extra layers to his character, if you want to call it that, because now he is riding in caskets. And he is coming after... Randy Orton. Randy Orton's in a scary place, though, because he 
is hearing voices in his head, and that's somewhere that he doesn't need to be, and that's somewhere that Bray Wyatt doesn't need him to be in. However, Bray Wyatt continues to just laugh, and Luke Harper is here. So they have their match. Ends in a no contest. Kane comes out of the casket, and they all kind of brawl in the ring. Next thing you know, the lights go off, and the Wyatt family's gone. It's okay, but do we still know why they want to beat the crap out of each other? No! No, we don't. AJ Styles feels that it's insulting that they're having a match tonight with James Ellsworth. I think it is insulting that we have to sit and watch this every week for the last two weeks in a row. I think it's embarrassing that we have to watch this. And he thinks that too. Naomi versus Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss picks up the victory like she should every week, at least until she faces Becky Lynch because she's the number one contender. Alexa Bliss cuts a promo. She is on top of her game right now. I do believe she really sounds good on the mic. And I think she's going to look strong heading into her match with Becky Lynch. I think she's going to pull up uh, the victory in her match with Becky Lynch. No, but I think that she'll have a strong outing with her for that championship matchup. Kurt Hawkins. Let me show you exactly what I think of Kurt Hawkins. Walking advertisement for our ratings killer. Get off the TV. You are lame. Absolutely. You do not belong anywhere near the WWE ring. No, you do not. Kurt Hawkins belongs somewhere else. Now, I'm kind of glad this happened to some degree because if this match would have happened, they would have buried. They would have buried Apollo Crews again. And I'm not saying I'm a huge fan of Apollo Crews that much because I think his character sucks. It's not his fault because they don't do anything with him. But. Apollo Crews has been getting buried every time he comes on TV. SummerSlam, this was a good promo between Carmella and Nikki Bella. Good promo. She comes out, Carmella does, talks about her first matchup, uh, pay-per-view match was at SummerSlam, and all she heard about was Nikki Bella. Nikki comes out. And it's talking about everything that she's done. Carmella is exposing Nikki Bella. And Nikki Bella says she never gives up all this junk. This was a good promo. It continues to build and lead up and continues to lead to another match. I like this. I really like how this is going. Slater, Rhino, and Ziggler versus the Spirit Squad and the Miz. Spirit Squad and the Miz pick up the victory here. Look, I like what Ziggler and the Miz are doing. However, Spirit Squad needs to leave. And Slater and Rhino need to be in a feud with somebody. Swagger loses very quickly to... Baron Corbin, and I've already went over AJ Styles versus James Ellsworth, and I am not going over that horrible match again because that was just unbearable and unwatchable. And that was SmackDown tonight. Horrible, for the most part. What do you all think? Do you all like this SmackDown? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know all your comments below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you don't like this video, let me know that too. Follow me on Twitter, Webby at 2007Webby, Facebook, Webby at 2007Webby.
Till I see you again, catch you on the other side.